nextlevelguitar.com. I'm going to share a little warm-up exercise that um, I actually use in uh, lots of different situations. And uh, this is E minor. Um, it's actually based out of G major, so it's going to be E minor. F sharp diminished. G major. A minor. B minor. C major, D major, back to E minor. And there's a lot of actual practical uh, situations you can use this in. So you're playing an E minor. Uh, sometimes I will put in the E minor uh, arpeggio going to the F sharp. Diminished. Might not work in every situation, but a lot of times I get away with it. And just by sliding over a half step, you got an A minor pentatonic. which is kind of an Afro-Cuban Latin jazz funk rock band. And they have all these uh, kind of Afri African rhythms that are a little, drive me a little crazy to play sometimes. But um, there's one, uh, one song where this chord progression is going G major to A minor, and it has this little bounce. So I started doing this, and it's kind of cool. <laughs> Anyway, that's a side note. Uh, so in the G, the G major, also I came back up in E minor pentatonic. to slide into to the next scale.
So it's always been important for me to work on exercises, um, things that I practice, and be able to use them in a musical context. Um, it's never been fun to actually work on something, a cool little phrase or lick, or, um, or exercise rather, and then uh, when you get to, <laughs> get to a gig and you pretty much practice, you pretty much play when you're nervous, whatever you practice. So if I practice something that's a little uh, um, bizarre and not musical sounding, uh, I'm going to try and stick it into a, a jam or a new song I'm playing and sometimes it comes out uh, a bit strange. So I try to practice things that are very musical so I can uh, apply them. And with this, it says you could do uh, G major to E minor pentatonic. Sometimes I actually skip notes. Right in the middle, I'm playing a E minor pentatonic. So again, I'm still doing E minor pentatonic, but in the middle of that, I'm playing an A minor. Thanks for listening. Um, my name is Larry Mitchell, and this is NextLevelGuitar.com. And I've been playing on my favorite Ibanez Blazer guitar from 1998. It's got a maple top, ash body. Kind of a bright sound, but I like it. And um, I'm using Damasio pickups. And it's a PAF Pro and uh, the Dario strings, nines. I use pretty light, light strings. I have large hands, but uh, kind of weak. So I use low action and uh, nine gauge strings. I'm also using Dava picks. Uh, I've been using these for about a year and a half now, and uh, they're pretty cool. I like the, uh, the coating on the top. It's kind of a neoprene, I think. I don't think that's actually neoprene, but it's something like it. So, uh, you know, it can go surfing with you if you want to. And, um, it's got a cool, very cool tone. And uh, let's see what else. And the sounds, are basically I'm going direct in with my Fractal Audio Axe FX2. And that handles all of my uh, guitar tones, amp tones, um, so, you know, straight. <laughs> heavier side of things. <laughs> to uh, bizarreness. I like the legs. I like the mess around with the different textures. See all the cool things you can do with the legs. sounds are going uh, directly into the computer which we're using to uh, attach to the video and uh, but the XFX allows me to not actually use an amplifier on stage it allows me to just plug straight into the PA system and comes out just like uh, a vocalist would be doing or sometimes keyboard players do they don't always bring key uh, keyboard amplifiers they just plug straight into the PA and um, really don't uh, use uh, traditional guitar amps I haven't used them pretty much in about the last three and a half years or so I think and uh, you can find out more about me and gear and uh, instrumental records I've done, records I've, been, I've produced at LarryMitchell.com. And you can see more videos at NextLevelGuitar.com. And I hope this has been helpful.